there, welcome to Gemini Toys. Here we are once again. This time we have the promised unboxing and review of the Spider-Man Movie Promo Edition. This is the MMS 53516 scale collectible figure version, that is, of uh, the movie that came out last year, Far From Home, Spider-Man Far From Home. Now this is a reissue of the figure that came out a few years ago of Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, also one thing to note is this figure was available in Tokyo at the Toy Sapien Spider-Man event that they held last year, right around the time when this movie Far From Home was playing in cinemas. And uh, this figure was sold there, like I said, now, the same event is currently happening here in Nagoya. Um, currently, the store is closed due to what's going on in the world, but they do have the intention of reopening it next week. But they don't carry this figure. They have uh, two other versions of Spider-Man available at the store, but not this one. So I really wanted to pick up this one after going to that event. I got, I got quite excited about Spider-Man, and uh, here it is, Hot Toys have been uh, delivering most of their figures in this kind of slip cover case box such as Avenger Infinity War figures always coming in this box so you can take a look at the box here's the side it says arrival Prague here here's uh, some warnings you can see there and the other side it says Venice right there is a lot of the movie took place in Venice a little bit there that okay so if we take off the slip cover this is what we see kind of a window showing the figure pretty standard these days this is uh, how most figures are shipping I recently did uh, an unboxing of and review of the Justice League Superman very similar style box and check that out if you haven't by the way So I know this figure has been out for a little time now, but it's still fairly recent. And this figure is actually still available at stores like Toys Wonderland in Hong Kong. And it is cheaper, like I said, than the Homecoming version, which recently has gone up so much in price. So uh, here you have it with all the accessories. That's everything he comes with. But I think it's uh, sufficient if you want a standard Spider-Man, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man that is. This is, I think, the the way to go. I mean, this is standard Spider-Man and it's very nice. Uh, let's take a closer look here. So, before uh, I was talking about the web shooters. Now, these web shooters, you can't insert any webs, but if you do change them to these here, you can insert the web, like, let's see, right here like such like that and then you could insert here uh, let's see well, maybe is it this side yeah it's definitely the other side so let's see you could do that and insert it like so and then what you would do is you change out the web, not the web, the hand. <laughs> and uh, let's use a traditional web shooting hand, like this one here. So you'd kind of insert it in like that. And there he's shooting a web. He doesn't look like he's very much, very enthused to shoot a web, but we can change that up. That's uh, articulation you can kind of see here it's nice and clicky I like that clickiness I do like it and the legs as well have the clickiness so let's just kind of pose them up a little bit uh, 
and he does have actually oops there went my web um he's got ankle very well very good ankle articulation a little pivot as well and he does have toe articulation you can kind of see the separation right here shoes by the way or boots what do you call them really nice design the suit is very well designed and very very poseable and one uh, other interesting thing is unlike the homecoming version of this figure the ankles the the ankles would just kind of the material would kind of sink and kind of get in there and it would make the boot look real strange this one does not have that issue it's been corrected so that's a nice thing that this one has over the previous version i get that knee bent from the top there's this one here whoops very very poseable now like i was saying before i'm just wondering how well uh the suit will hold over time if you do some dynamic poses looks like it would hold up fairly well looks like the wrinkles wouldn't stay and you put this the web like so kind of move it around a little to just kind of and there i did that pose for you right on camera how's that yeah now here i'm going to show you guys a little more in detail what the suit looks like so you can see those wrinkles i think will go away but we'll see about that there you can see real nice suit there's uh, part of the the web shooter mechanism you can see there there you can see the spider on his chest that actually comes out and it's like a little robot he's still in the same pose web looks pretty cool see there web shooter see. the hands are made out of plastic but it matches the material real well so as you can see there and there he is now the head is on a bowl joint it's not like the Iron Spider, which is magnetized. So I do have the Iron Spider figure, and I'm going to see if I could use the Tom Holland head sculpt, but definitely won't be able to attach it. Maybe it can rest on there, but it won't be able to be attached. But I might try that. So there you can see, there's that web. However, uh, speaking of head sculpts, um, there's many Tom Holland head sculpts that go on a ball joint that you could uh, get for this guy. So that should not be hard to find and or expensive, I should say. That's your first pose. Looking cool. Now here is your selection of eyes. You have those barely open. A little slightly more open little more and widely open now you could combine them and have him winking so here's the figure just a little slight change in pose and has no eyes so there's some slots there that have a magnet and then you'd grab for example let's see here you can see his winking eye and you would just goes with a magnet on just like that and I say winking because I could have them wear that one and there he's just kind of winking looks a little strange to me though but that's an option for you now putting them on is real easy taking them off you kind of get you're gonna dig your uh, yeah doing this on camera it's not something I really want to do but you kind of got to dig with your fingernail which I barely have one and be real careful not to scrape the material. So that's kind of a pain, but see if I can get them to focus. But yeah, you gotta be careful with the material when you actually 
dig in here. But it, if you dig in a little bit, it will come right out. Uh, no, don't want to do it on camera. So yeah, um, taking those eyes out is quite difficult. You got to put your nail in between the material and the plastic and just kind of take it out. That's my first real complaint, really. It's, it's kind of a pain to get out. Now, putting them on real easy, though. Just snap it on there, just like that. And there he is. Now, so far, I'm doing okay wrinkle-wise on the suit. You can see just a little bit here, but just kind of adjusting it. You see another one right there. So, we'll see over time, but so far, a little bit of wrinkles. Uh, let's see there. The rest of the suit seems to be okay. And there you can see what uh, the peg looks like for those, who you're, for those of you who are curious. Now here I have them on a flight pose. Now another thing to note is the, the head, in this case the masked head, which is all you get, is uh, very well made. As you can see here, you can barely see the seam. Real nice, actually. I believe it's better than the homecoming version. They also corrected that. I tried putting them here in uh, flight pose. You can see. Now the problem I have here is when using when using this dynamic stand, uh, it needs to attach to the waist. So it's really hard to attach those wings because this the clasp gets in the way. I just did my best to do that. That's pretty much the best I could figure out. Maybe you guys know a better way to do it, and if so, please share it, because this is all I was able to come up with at the moment. But I just opened this figure and started messing with it, so I'm not too familiar yet. I think it still looks fairly nice. There you have it. So, as you can see here in this next pose, the figure is quite poseable. I don't know how the suit will hold up. We'll find out about that. So far it's doing fairly well. And the eyes, I gotta tell you guys, that is a pain in the ass to get those out. However, uh, now these are the eyes I'm just gonna use here. Now, let's see here. Let's put them on real quick. Here, this one. So that's the pose. It's pretty cool. The eyes I found the best way to remove them is actually using uh, something real sticky, like some paper that's real sticky. I had this sticky paper. I was able to, after much trying to remove them with my nails and getting all nervous of damaging the material, I was able to do it just sticking the piece of paper on and there it is. See? That easy. Well, Hot Toys is not in the instructions telling you to do that, but it should have had some kind of tool to uh, do it. Uh, however, I was able to find that solution because that was very frustrating. I gotta tell you guys, I even had these magnets here. I was using these magnets, see if I could just kind of dig it out by, you know, with one of these magnets, but no, that wasn't working either. So best way to do it is, like I said, a some, some material uh, like some tape. You just glue it on only to the eye part, to the plastic part, and just pull and it should come right off. So that should sh save you some trouble because man, that was giving me a lot of trouble. I was getting, I was finding myself quite frustrated about that, but here's this pose. Now the neck does, uh, you can see he's looking up quite well because the neck does have some articulation unlike the Iron Spider version has no articulation. And uh, he can look up fairly good. Not as good as I'd like him to, but not bad. That leg there doesn't look that great. But anyways, uh, just to show you guys real quick that he does, uh, from certain angles, this looks actually quite cool. Like that one there. Yep. So you can see the posability. It's 
Spider-Man, gotta say. It's a cool figure. Material looks awesome. And here we have one more pose. I was trying to balance them on one foot, but that didn't quite work out, so I used the pole to just so he's leaning slightly against that pole and there's the pose. I see a little bit. Now he does have these hands. He came with two fists, like this one here. Let's see if it focuses, you can see there, the fist. As well as, uh, it's like a fist, but you can actually fit a web inside there. And he's holding the web, just kind of making his line. Just kind of came from, that web looks like it's attached there. And he just made his landing. So, just to kind of demonstrate how uh, you can use these hands here if we get it to focus. Come on, here we are. You can use those like that. The suit seems to be holding up pretty good. I'm starting to see some bunching up in certain areas. So it happens, so I don't know. Over time, I wouldn't recommend posing this figure in dynamic poses for a short time and take your pictures and all, but for video. And then it should adjust back into place, but long term, I don't think so. Just my opinion. And this is my concluding segment. As you can see, the suit is still seems to be holding up pretty good a little bunching up there but nothing that can be reversed for a short time seems to be okay now the arms can go very close to the body I know to some of you guys that's important how close you can put those arms to the body which is why I put them in this pose very close actually he could also he could be like he almost looks like he's tied up you can go, you can really, you get one final click in which um, the articulation I'm talking about, you can actually get the, the armpit real, real tight and sealed. So that means the arm will actually go very close. It doesn't seem to stick out either very much. You can put them like that. And those arms, very close to the body, which is, like I said, important to some people. <laughs> so, what do I think in terms of this figure, in terms of its uh, price and value? Well, if you already have the homecoming figure, figure that is, um, it's of course not worth it unless you just want an extra for posing or not sure, but I don't see the point. Uh, if, even if you have the Iron Spider, now th this guy is seems to be more posable than the Iron Spider, and uh, what I mean by posable, meaning the suit doesn't seem to get is uh, wrinkled up, is that one? It does, but not as much. So it seems, in terms of posability this figure would be a better option. However, if you do have the Iron Spider, I don't really see the point on getting this one because I think the, the Iron Spider is a better looking figure. Now, uh, and oh, of course, I'll talk about that in the comparison video. But if you do want a standard Spider-Man, this is a nice option, actually. Uh, and especially if you like MCU version, this is definitely a good option. It's just a Spider-Man figure, no head sculpt. So it could be head sculpt, I mean, Tom Holland head sculpt. Uh, so it could be a little boring. All you get is what you see is what you get, basically. With some accessories, like I showed you. So you don't have a, a whole lot of value there. 
but if you can get them especially if you can get them below two hundred dollars i'd say go for it up to maybe i think what he retailed for was about 250 something like that i'm sure in america but definitely here so yeah you can get them around that price i would say it's worth it especially considering the prices of the homecoming version however that one does come with the tom holland head scope if you can do that and get a head sculpt or if you have a um, third party head sculpt from Tom, Tom Holland, this would be a great option actually. So that is about all. Nice suit, looks real nice. It's Spider-Man indeed. Very, very film accurate see there all the details once again real nice suit is holding up really well so what I've encountered in terms of problems I already mentioned them is the eyes taking those out but if you use tape like I showed you shouldn't be an issue the fact that it's lacking a head sculpt is kind of unfortunate, but it is cheaper. And I can't think of any other real accessory he needed to come with, except for the uh, um, instant kill eyes. That would have been nice. And I don't think I have that with my Iron Spider either. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'm actually going to give you guys a little preview this is the iron spider head on the promo edition far from home spider-man looks great it's just resting on there so like and subscribe like I said and stay tuned for my next comparison video that I'll be showing you guys the Iron Spider along with this guy as well as the Mark 50 as well as some other head I plan to experiment showing you on this figure. 